So if the box office is anything to go by and comparing the Bumblebee film to the previous Michael Bay Transformers franchise, it looks like the audiences do not want quality, instead they want Michael Bay. You know, there's something to be said about those Michael Bay movies. Um, they came at like a perfect time with the rise of CG and everything, right in time with like Iron Man 1, for example. And they really took the world by storm and having kind of a unique new franchise that we haven't seen before. Certainly, have you tried to do Transformers five years before that, it wouldn't have worked. It would have looked cheap and awkward and kind of like floaty, like Star Wars Episode 2, for example. Now, at the same time, they came in at this perfect time, and Michael Bay, he knew what he was playing up to, the college kids, the partiers, and they were largely not Transformers movies. Travis Knight and Bumblebee, he knew what he was doing. He was going for a Generation 1 feel, trying to appease, and really pull back the Transformers fans. And while I think we're all there to support him, clearly there's something that's wrong, because Bumblebee is not doing good. It's actually doing pretty terribly worldwide. And this just kind of brings up the question, were the audiences ever fans of the Transformers or were they fans of Michael Bay's Transformers? And I think that's the problem here, right? And that's really the unfortunate thing because even though Michael Bay, yes, he brought in a lot of money, the last Michael Bay Transformers movie didn't do so good either. So is the franchise dead? Like is it dying? Has the damage been so bad that you can't recover from it? And I know we can bring up like other franchises, let's say Batman v Superman and Justice League and then Aquaman and Wonder Woman, but, but see, those recovered, and yeah, they did, but why isn't Bumblebee? And I think that's something more to discuss that probably has to do with the box office, you know, being just pummeled down to the ground by competition and terrible timing of release. But honestly, it looks like this could be it for the franchise, and that's unfortunate because it seems like that they had a lot of good ideas to what they wanted to do that we might never see again.